Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. You're listening to the RX Daily Dose. Today's episode is being recorded for Monday, November 21st, and I'm your host, Ian Parnagoni. We update this podcast for healthcare providers, medical professionals, and anyone who has an interest in drug updates. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on all your favorite podcast platforms and social media, including iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and Instagram. All links can be found in the show notes below. A few updates for you this week. First, the FDA approved T-Zield to delay the progression of type 1 diabetes, a big advancement for the treatment of type 1 diabetes. The FDA also approved another biosimilar to Lantus called Resvoglar and issued a new EUA for Kinneret for COVID-19 treatment. As always, feel free to skip around. I'm going to include times in the show notes so you get the updates that interest you. First up, though, and probably the most important news this week, the FDA approved teplizumab, which goes by brand name t an injection to delay the onset of stage 3 type 1 diabetes in adults and pediatric patients 8 years and older who currently have stage 2 type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is a disease that occurs when the immune system attacks and destroys the cells that make insulin. People with a type 1 diabetes diagnosis have increased glucose that requires insulin shots or wearing an insulin pump to survive and must check their blood sugar levels regularly throughout the day. Although it can appear at any age, type 1 diabetes is usually diagnosed in children and young adults. A person is a higher risk for type 1 diabetes if they have a parent, brother, or sister with type 1 diabetes although most patients with type 1 diabetes do not have a family history. t binds to certain immune system cells and delays progression to stage 3 type 1 diabetes. t may deactivate and modify the immune cells that attack insulin-producing cells while increasing the proportion of cells that help moderate the immune system. In people with type 1 diabetes, T cells destroy the insulin producing beta cells in the pancreas. T zeal is administered by IV infusion once daily for 14 consecutive days. T zeal's safety and efficacy were evaluated in a randomized, double blind, event driven, placebo controlled trial with 76 patients with stage 2 type 1 diabetes. In the trial, patients randomly received t or a placebo once daily via IV infusion for 14 days. The primary measure of efficacy was the time from randomization to development of stage 3 type 1 diabetes diagnosis. The trial results showed that over a median follow-up of 51 months, 45% of the 44 patients who received t were later diagnosed with stage 3 type 1 diabetes, compared to 72% of the 32 patients who received the placebo. The mid-range time from randomization to stage 3 type 1 diabetes diagnosis was 50 months for the patients who received t and 25 months for those who received the placebo. This represents a statistically significant delay in the development of stage 3 type 1 diabetes. The most common side effects of t include decreased levels of certain white blood cells, rash, and headache. The use of t comes with warnings and precautions, including pre-medicating and monitoring for symptoms of cytokine release syndrome. This is when the immune system responds too aggressively to an infection or immune therapy drug. Other precautions include risk of serious infections, decreased levels of a type of white blood cell called lymphocytes, risk of hypersensitivity reactions, the need to administer all age-appropriate vaccinations prior to starting t as well as avoiding concurrent use of live, inactivated, and mRNA vaccines with t t will be available through an eligibility verification and confirmation process once prescribed through the Manufacturer Prevention Bio. 
The company's patient navigators from their Compass program will reach out to set up and help access the product. The wholesale cost per vial of T-Zield is $14,000, which translates to about $200,000 for a 14-vial continuous regimen. It's most likely that since this product is given via an IV infusion, it will be accessed through the medical benefit versus pharmacy. T-Zield received priority review and breakthrough therapy designations for this indication and the FDA granted the approval of T-Zield to Prevention Bio. The FDA also this week approved another biosimilar for Lantus, also called Insulin Glargine, which goes by brand name Resvoglar. Resvoglar will be the second interchangeable biosimilar insulin product to Lantus. If you remember, the first is called Semgly, which was approved back in July of 2021. Resvoglar is a long-acting human insulin analog indicated to improve glycemic control in adults and pediatric patients with diabetes. Resvoglar may cause serious side effects, same as its reference product Lantus, which include hypoglycemia, allergic reactions, hypokalemia, and heart failure. And finally, the FDA also issued an emergency use authorization for Enakinra, which goes by brand name Kineret, an injection for the treatment of COVID-19 in hospitalized adults with pneumonia requiring supplemental oxygen who are at risk of progressing to severe respiratory failure and likely to have an elevated plasma-soluble urokinase plasminogen activator receptor. Kineret is currently FDA-approved for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, cryopyrin-associated periodic syndromes, and deficiency of IL-1 receptor antagonist. Common side effects of Kineret and the recommended dosing for the authorized population are included in the EUA fact sheet for healthcare providers. Additional information on authorized treatments is available on the FDA's Emergency Use Authorization webpage. And that's all I have for right now. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll include all links in the show notes below, so please go back and check those out too. Please connect with me on any of your social media platforms and give me feedback on what you heard today. I'd love to know what you thought about the episode. And as always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe wherever you listen to your podcasts. And thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe out there, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.